Here we have an NVR with an eSATA port on the back connected to our eSATA enclosure. This is just a test and show you how they work. So we have both bridged together through an eSATA cable connected to each other. Currently in this setup, we have one drive on the NVR and two drives. This is the one drive and there are two drives on the eSATA enclosure. Let's look at the menu screen. So to get to this uh, storage option, you right click main menu, go to system, or you actually go to storage and it comes directly to this menu. Go to HDD manage. In here it tells me that on the main board, SDA, that's the first drive, it's set to read and write. And that says on the east side of drives five and eight, they're set to backup. Now, if I go to RAID menu, none of them are appearing from the east side of enclosure. So what I'll do is I'll go into HDD manage, select this drive, double click it, you can actually just, just single click it and then hit format. It asks me what do I want to do with this drive? How do I want to format it? I want to format it as a storage and press OK. Instead of it being a backup drive, now it's becoming a storage drive. Give it a few minutes. All right, after formatting, now I see that the status of that one drive from the ESAT enclosure has changed to read write. And now it says it's an HDD group one and I can assign it to a different one if I want it. I'm only trying to do a JBOD setup on these drives. So now I'm going to format this one as well. Now it has formatted the uh, second drive inside the ESAT enclosure. You see that here. It lets me add it if I wanted it to through the redundant. If I do that, it'll come up on the, in, under the RAID option.